so good We're loving and hating and making scenes Now we just see everything we believe We just see everything guys and welcome back so behind me you might recognize this BMW M4 because this car we tuned it to over 500 brake horsepower and a lot of you might be aware that the BMW M4 lacks a little bit of sound and my friend Josh Webster has just arrived in his M4 and I've decided to film this video because he has put an absolutely ridiculous exhaust system on it and it now pops and bangs like you have never heard before. So now it is ridiculously fast, ridiculously loud, and he has also lowered it. So this is a totally new animal. The way it's actually been lowered, it just looks so aggressive. And the noise as well, I can't wait for you to hear this. So I'm gonna jump in the car with Josh and see how crazy this BMW M4 is. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Okay, so we're now in the BMW M4. Here is Josh, okay. Josh Webster Racing. You might all know Josh because he is the man who owns this car. And tell me a little bit about it. You've changed this into, like I've said on my... You just nearly hit my GoPro. <laughs> Okay, should we actually start this video? <laughs> You've got to put that in. My, my face. Basically, my GoPro is on the roof. And my wipers are broken now. My wipers are nearly broken. We shall start again. So what have you done to this car, which has now made it into this animal, which it is now? So I think last time it was on the channel, um, it was sat quite high. So we've got H&R Super Sport springs on, which have dropped it 40 mil front and rear. Lovely. Um, and a lot of people sort of complain about the handling, but I quite like the handling. It's a lot stiffer and more reactive. And because before we were going sideways everywhere. Yeah, so now it just goes sideways <laughs> even more. So it's got power, over 500 brake. 550 now. Yeah, so um, I haven't really raced many cars since I've had it done, but it does seem a lot. On the track, because you only race on the track. Yeah, of course. Well, I've raced <laughs> up to 70 miles an hour, obviously. Exactly, exactly. You've also downpipe. Yeah, downpipes, filters, um, some other stuff to it. So it pops and crackles like mad now. So. I'm really excited to hear this actually. Yeah, it's really, really aggressive. Transform this car. Yes, my car is warm, everyone. <laughs> that, a downpipe and all that stuff can just yeah. change it. Yeah, make it go that. Um... You probably, like we said before, when we put the tuning box originally. originally. <laughs> <laughs> the tuning box is really good, and I would recommend it to anyone that's wanting to do sort of a power upgrade for the first time on the M4. Yeah. But I just wanted a bit more. Um, but you know what? The, the biggest thing I'm actually happy with is the, the springs. Like, you know, we'll show you some. It's quite comfy in here, like it's not changed the ride too, too much, much, but, but it's definitely a, different. Yeah, it's definitely a bit a bit harder, but yeah. that's, that's obviously to be expected, you know. You can't. I'll, I'll come past these people now. I really am sorry. I, I am, I'm just sorry. So have you driven this car for like a long journey? Obviously you've done all this stuff to it now. People are probably wondering, is it drivable daily? Because it's now this total different thing. Can you sort of switch the noise off? Can yeah. you sort of get around that? Yeah, so the exhaust still has uh, valves in it, so you can right. turn it on and off. So Perfect. On a motorway, it stops all the popping and banging. You can just cruise along. Yeah. I've got two modes, so M1's all comfort, automatic gear shift, everything like that. And then M2 is like crazy mode, so. It's on uh, the motorway, it's not just a fireworks display no, constantly. It's no. just sort of nice but and relaxed. Although, I like to be in that mode quite a lot. Going, <laughs> oh, like going God. through Dartford Tunnel and stuff like that. Fuel consumption, is that, is that 
it's a bit lower because obviously I'm playing with it quite a lot, but that will you know equal out. Um, yeah, so no different there. Yeah, I mean, obviously when your car makes a good, a better noise, you're gonna drive it a bit harder to yeah. to hear the noise all the time. But no, I love it. <laughs> would put this car in a hedge yeah, straight yeah. away that's yeah. the one thing if i'm going to say one negative thing about the m4 this is the only one thing is that it is you've got to be a good driver this car's performance is like supercar performance yeah now this car is now over 500 brake horsepower probably more powerful than the old gen r8 things like that yeah i mean I was, it's now i was up against obviously on track recently the old gen r8 v10 yeah. So not the V8, the V10, which has yeah. 560 brake or something. Yeah. Um, and I absolutely destroyed it. Yeah. So and it just shows that now how far these cars really are coming along. Yeah. For what it is. is seriously impressive. The mods you can do to these cars these days, you are basically modifying a sort of a stock sports car yeah. and turning it into supercar performance. Yeah. And that is absolutely crazy. Yeah, it's cool. It's and cool that you can get all your luggage in. The boot's huge. Yeah. Done. Four, over 40,000 miles of this now, it's my daily, but then I can still drop it down. And when I get my supercar... Oh my god! It's rapid! Look how low that is sitting. Quick pit stop. It's looking very low. Yeah, sorry about the dirt. <laughs> Don't worry about that. There's not much gap there, is there? Not much gap at all. It just looks so aggressive. I keep saying it, but it really does. It is totally, totally transformed. And how much does it cost to fill up? Let's get the honest opinion. Honest. A lot. Really? No, how it's about six. No, 70, 70 pounds. 70? Yeah, and yeah. about 300 miles. Three, you don't get 300 miles. <laughs> I, I know some people are going to comment that's just too much. No, it's not too much. It is. And there's depth to it. It doesn't sound like someone, like, some, some of them sound like someone just like after a curry the, the night before. BMW M4 needed something to make it that little bit yeah, louder it just, that and more no desirable. And bangs, it's quite quiet. Yeah. Now it's quite like barky and then. So would you recommend this to other people? That's the question. Yeah, definitely. Anyone with an M4 is going to watch this. Yeah, anyone that wants to have their car a bit louder and a bit of theatre about it. Like I was at um, a car show recently and there was someone with an M4 that had like a loud exhaust on it but didn't have the pops and crackles and he was like, I took him out and he was so gutted that his car didn't sound like that. Within yeah. a week he sent me a video, this is my car now and he's had this pop and crackle map put on it and it sounds ridiculous. Yeah, I mean you can't even just do that right, you can even do a pop, or crack, a pop and crackle map and it will give it's it that extra bit yeah, with the stock and it will still give it that little bit extra but you've gone for the that, that part and then also the downpipe. And wicked. I've had the car on a dyno and I know that it's 550 horsepower. Well, actually, <laughs> right, it's 543 horsepower and 801 newton meters of torque. Okay, so I've just jumped out Josh's BMW M4. Wow, what an experience and what a car. The modifications Josh has done to this car are incredible. The tuning, the exhaust, everything about it really just gives a BMW that edge which it's always needed. Obviously, it's an amazing car anyway, but it just is such an experience. The pops and the bangs, it just is, like I say in the video, kind of like a supercar. A lot of you have said, this is the car I should get for my new car. I love the BMW M4, don't get me wrong, but 
I'm going for supercar territory as a car, so this is not in contention. As a helicopter flies over me. So I'm gonna end this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to head over to Josh. He's on Instagram, that's Josh Webster Racing. And I'll see you soon.